Hi, welcome back to my channel. The setting of my screen is on, my brightness is set pre, uh, really uh, kind of on the low side so that you can at least see what I'm doing. I am working white on white and I know when I did my stitching chat yesterday I said that I wouldn't do white on white on a stitching chat but I am determined to finish this third page of this cat on a laundry basket by Dorini Jones so that I can move on to another pattern. Um, once I, okay, let's see, what do, how do I figure I want to do this? I want to um, work on my two long dog samplers. And then I want to go from my long dog samplers to all of the stitching chats that I have joined for 2022. And that would comprise uh, four from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery and one from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So that's seven projects that I would like to work on. And then after I rotate those seven projects, I have two mini projects from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery that I want to work on. And I ordered some hoops for those. So I decided to keep my... Um, main working station right here at my desk because it's very easy to keep my magnifier um, shining right on my work without a lot of adjustments it's even easier than uh, stitching in my recliner which is obviously more well I was gonna say more comfortable but not necessarily because I can stitch and diamond paint for hours in this gaming chair so um, I think what I'm going to try to do is for the two small projects that came in the uh, subscription boxes from Caterpillar that I'm going to do on the hoops, those might be projects that I work on when I'm in bed because I am trying to catch up on um, some television series. I tried over the last few days, but I'm just not really... Uh, enthused with television but there are some things okay I'm just uh, okay just reading a message so I'd like to get myself on um, on some type of pattern with with a few of the shows that I really do enjoy even though I'd much rather be reading or listening to a book and then if I'm not reading or listening to a book I'm on YouTube and what usually captivates my time on YouTube are family channels, especially channels where they adopt children. Because that's just something that's near and dear to my heart and always has been, although it's something that with my present and any circumstances in my life, it's something that I'm not able to do, but I do admire those who do it. Um, my second um, addiction on YouTube are tiny houses or bus life or van life. I, I watch a lot of those videos. And then my third thing that caught my attention is the Amber Heard Johnny Depp, should I say Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. That, um, I don't really get involved in Hollywood stuff. I, I never have. I, I know, for example, that certain prominent Hollywood men have been accused of heinous sexual misconduct, but I couldn't even really list more than one or two of them if someone to at, were to ask me because I never pay attention to it. But little snippets of the trial keep coming up as recommendations. And after so many recommendations, I, I just had to start watching them. Now, I have a strong feeling that once the trial resumes um, on the 16th, I probably will get a little bit less reading done because I think I'm going to end up trying to watch at least some of that trial live. Um, as far as what I'm doing beyond my stitching is I did diamond paint for two hours today. I listened to about 80% of... Um, which book is this? Her Child's Cry by S.A. Dumphy. 
I listened to about 80% of it. And while I was listening to that, I worked on my diamond painting. And I got a whole square and a half done. And I say that because the way that I've been attacking that diamond painting, I've only been getting like half an hour here and 35 minutes there, 40 minutes there. But today I put in more than two hours and I got a lot done on that one. So I'm looking forward to getting that done by the end of May. Now, yesterday I was really determined to make all my book review videos and write up a ton of reviews but that did not happen because um, I took myself off of coffee while my ulcers were acting up. And after three or four days without coffee, my grogginess was more than I could handle. So I took several naps yesterday. And I, I, I really regret that because I am such a time conscious person that those naps took away from reading, from stitching, from anything. So today I am sipping on coffee. So far, so good. My stomach seems to be tolerating the coffee. So I am wide awake. So I think what I'm going to do today is after I make this video and finish that last 20% of Her Child's Cry, I will go ahead and make another eight or nine videos then I'm going to take my laptop into my bedroom and I am going to write videos while I watch television so I'll be able to catch up on some shows and bring up these 20 odd books that I have read that I need to write book reviews for so I know that's going to take me seven or eight hours to get all that done so seven or eight hours with uh, shows on DVR and not watching commercials, I could come, you know, I could wipe off some of my uh, shows off the DVR that I want to watch. And I'm talking about like The Rookie, um, uh, Law and Order SVU, Law and Order, uh, the actual uh, reboot of Law and Order. I'm not really into the one with uh, Chris Maloney. Um, Elliot, I'm just really not into uh, that series yet. I, I somehow messed something up. Sorry, let me uh, frog this stitch here. Just want to frog right here. I saw a snag, and I just want to remove it because it's it's white floss and it's white floss, and that snag will show. To be honest, that snag would probably show with any color, but it would especially show with the white. So I'm just going to clip off that part of the floss that snagged. It happens. It happens. Don't worry. So I'm not really into the show at Maloney, so I don't know if I'm going to watch that. I may watch the crossover episode. Well, episodes. I don't know how many crossover ones. Um... I don't know what else I want to watch. I'm so far behind on all the NCIS that I probably won't catch up on them. Um, I do want to catch up on um, Bull, if, if Bull's back in production. So I think I had ca caught up with Bull. I'm sorry, my, I'm trying to get, unravel my, uh, I'm trying to use a needle thread and it got caught up. Um, I like Bull. And I caught up on it, and then it went on hiatus for the when spring started. So I'm not sure if Bull is back, but if it is, I'll catch up on that. So that's what I'm going to do today. I bought some things for the babies. Oh, you're looking at my you're looking at me. When I adjusted my uh, snag, I forgot to fix my camera. Sorry. For fortunately, I'm dressed. So. <laughs> Well, actually, let's be honest, I'm always dressed, you know. I live with a husband and two adult sons. Of course I'm dressed. So anyway, um, oh, I bought some little golden books, 75 years of golden books, and it's 12 different books from 19, the 1940s to, to recent. And 
so I got those for the babies and it's only the first of book many books I plan on getting them and then I got a notification that there was a flash sale or whatever Amazon calls it for some uh, metal type blocks I don't know fully what they are but it but I had them in my wish list and if you cast stuff in your wish list when it goes on sale you'll be alerted so it was already like five or ten dollars off and then it was another 20 percent off so I got like ten dollars off 168 blocks for the kids more so Demetrius but um, we'll see if Livy wants to play with them as well um, I just every week or so I want to buy them toys I do have to buy some type of toy bin or receptacle I had a place for their toys, but now that they're getting so many toys over here, it's it's not going to be suffice. So I um, I have those coming. I I mentioned that I have the smaller cross stitch projects I want to work on. So today my um, hoops are coming. I've never used a hoop before, and I've gotten used to working with this uh, a frame. Um, case creation Z frame so I am going to have to stitch in hand not not quite in hand but I won't be using this frame so that's going to be interesting and but you know when you when you invest yourself in a hobby you need to learn everything about the hobbies and so I I'm excited about that I bought like a s set of th three or six I'm not sure how many but I bought a set of decorative frames because I saw on one of the Facebook groups um, how they make it into a fully finished object by attaching the uh, project to the frame that you stitch it with or on, however you say that. So I will be, uh, I bought some pretty frames so that these can be gifts. Um, so that's, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I don't know the next time I'm going to babysit. They haven't asked me, but hopefully to be in the next couple of days because I need my baby fix. I also have to call my son TJ to find out when I can have Avery and Aiden. They're 8 and 14. Um, they're my oldest grandsons. Um, I need those fellas to come over. So I've got to call my son to work that out or, or their mother. I call one of them and arrange a time to see those boys. I don't see Alan's girls because he split up from his girlfriend and that's not on good terms. And then Aaron's son lives in a different state, only Rhode Island, but it's not here. And plus he's he has autism or he is autistic, so it's not he's not a kid that like we can have for a couple of days. You know, he needs to be around mama. So I, I don't get to see Aaron Jr. And then Adriana's girls, um, I just haven't seen them for a few months, which is really weird because I do try to get together with Adriana, but right now they're away on vacation anyway. So maybe when they come back, her and the girls could come over for a few hours. Um, so that's about it. I want to stitch this get all of this page three done make those video reviews carry my laptop in my bedroom catch up on tv and do all that writing and um hopefully i am completely over the flu bug and my stomach issues so that i can get back to the pattern that i set in february or march where i started writing my reviews and making those videos right after I finished the book. I I don't ordinarily work quickly like that. I, it's it's more of a habit for me to be behind like I am right now. But um I I'm trying to whoops, I just went straight instead of at an Do you ever do that? You go up and down instead of at the X angle, that was silly. So I, um, I um, lost my thought. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I 
for the last couple of months, I've been trying to, like, read a book, do the video, write the review, read a book, whatever. But that, that fell by the wayside because I, I got it. Now I just went over two stitches. I'm just doing over two here. Um, I, I got a combination of a bug and fibro and stomach issues. So I just read a book, go to the next book, read a book, go to the next book. So now I am going to be forced to play catch up again. Let's see. Um, let's see. Anything else that I want to tell you about? Um, I had been in a really bad depression for a few weeks. And today is the first day in weeks. Not counting the times that I'm around Ivy and the babies. Which I talked a little bit about on yesterday's video. That there are times when I'm around the kids and Ariana and them that I don't feel that sadness that accompanies my depression. But to be on my own, like having spoken to Ari today, having spoken to the babies today, and not feel depressed is such a huge relief. Huge. Oh my gosh, how long has it been since you could see me? What is going on? Alright, I don't know how many stitches that was that I moved up my magnifier, but you have my apologies. So anyway, and I can't edit because I haven't taken the time to learn an editing program. So anyhow, I can edit on my iPad, but I can't edit on my laptop yet. I will learn because I am a quick learner and I am a techie. I just haven't taken the time. So anyway, um... Yeah, I don't feel depressed today. I don't understand it, but I'm not going to knock it. I'm going to say thank you, Jehovah, that I don't feel depressed. And that's why I know I can write all of those book reviews. And I say all of those, we're talking about 20. But I'll get them done in the next two days, uh, maybe half today, half tomorrow. And um, some of them won't even be out to August. But that's the plan, is a little bit of old, a little bit of current, and a little bit of advanced. And then that way, when I have bad weeks like I have had the last few weeks, there's, there's going to be constant content coming up on the blog and on the channel. So I'm, I'm happy that I, I have that. Now there's something that was bothering me today when I was stitching. I was thinking about my comments, some comments my therapist made in my session yesterday about internal versus external goals when you meet a lot of external goals it's it doesn't edify your soul it doesn't help your self-esteem when you when you accomplish things on an internal basis then your self-esteem you know gets a boost and i I'm, we're gonna, oh my goodness, I think I just broke my thread. Some, something happened to my flowers. Okay, sorry, give me a minute to set up. Just wait for the glare to go away. It's gonna take a second. The, um, my floss just broke. So what we'll do is we're just going to pull it out and then... I already have some needles threaded, so I'm just going to rip out some of the stitches and leave it hanging. And when I leave it hanging and, and add in the other stitches, it will um, solidify. It'll, you know, secure. But I just have to fix this. So I know that you're not getting the best view, but like I said, I can't edit. Um, I don't know how that happened. So anyway, um, he said... He got on this tangent. He he has a tendency to, of doing that, of of you know soapboxing, which is his job. So I I'm not I'm okay with that part of it. You know he he is his job is to counsel me. So um, hang on. His job is to counsel me. So I don't mind his soapbox uh, moments. You know that's that's what he gets paid for. So don't get me wrong on that. But he's got this really skewed view of my reading and book reviewing. And any chance he can get, he will 
harp on my goal setting as external versus internal and how I need to focus on the internal. So I just pulled out, uh, let's see if this will refocus. I just pulled out some stitches and as I stitch these other ones in, that will secure that. Because somehow my my thread broke, my floss broke. So anyway, he gets, you know, and I I put the stuff in my planner, so I know when he says it. Um, I don't know how he feels about me note taking, but hey, it is what it is. So anyway, he gets on these tangents about my reading, and he says that you know I read too much, I focus too much on my blog. Now that I'm making content on my channel, I focus too much on my channel, and I need to focus on my family and my faith. Okay, fine. Balance. We all need it. Who doesn't need balance in their life? So, what is his point? I'm just trying to see if I can work over this bad area. I might just have to have that imperfect stitch there and act like it's not there. Bear with me one second. My angle isn't right, but I'm just trying to, uh, yeah, we're going to go with it. So anyway, yeah, he gets to a point when, especially if I'm having a depressive, uh, you know, a bipolar depression, I don't really have a lot of mania, but I have a lot of depression, then he looks for reasons from that I'm depressed. Okay, fine. That's his job. So, yesterday he said that, um, you know, because I am very, very keen on my family. I uh, have always been a family-oriented person. I always wanted a big family, and I was blessed with a big family. So, when I get into a depression and and I want to talk to him about whatever it was that might have led me to that depression. Somehow, he, he segues over to, you need your family, you need your friends. Okay, yes, of course I need my family, of course I need my friends. Heck, that's all I ever do is talk about my family. So, yesterday he decides to remind me that my reviewing is only from me or to tell me, but I didn't, I didn't dispute it, and we're going to talk, he doesn't know this, but we're going to talk about it next week. My reviewing is only for me, my reading is only for me, I am the only person that gets any edification, help, or growth from my reading and my reviewing. And that's when the grandkids came up. My grandkids don't know or even care if I read a book or, 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 or write my, on my, in my blog. And so I'm just letting him, you know, say his piece because, I'm sorry, I'm still dealing with this extra floss when, from when my needle broke. I'm dealing with it in a way that I'm not flipping my uh, canvas over. So you might be looking, okay, you're still looking at me, at the work. Give me a second. Yeah, <coughs> so he's saying that, you know, Everything that I do on a secular level, like, you know, hobby-wise, is for my own benefit. You know, it took all the respect in the world for me not to say, duh, of course it's for my own benefit. I I need to be, I like to be busy, I like to be productive, but I, nope, I'm just listening, I, I just listened. So, the reason I say that him and I are going to discuss this next week is because he is on this tangent that my reading and reviewing is is purely selfish and it's purely external but I feel a lot of uh, commitment and dedication to authors and publishers and I feel that my reading my reviewing my writing my blogging anything that I do on the on that end ultimately helps those authors and publishers that I work with and I, I want him, I can't make him think or feel anything, but I, I do feel that he owes me respect for my work. And then he even went so far as to say that it's not work because 
I don't get paid for it. And that's another proof that it's just for me and it's not, it has no value. I felt completely devalued. But I needed to work through my reasons for being depressed yesterday. And I am extremely good at compartmentalizing. And so while he, while I was working through this depression issue that I've had over the last few weeks, I was sorting out those comments that he was making kind of on the side so that on, on in our next session, I can let him know that I personally find value in reading and reviewing and I believe the authors and the publishers and even other reviewers appreciate it. Heck, even when I started this video, I said I had to read a message. It was somebody said, Robin, you seem very knowledgeable about Neck Alley and reviewing. Do you think such and such and such and such? So I'm not just helping myself. I'm helping others. And yeah, so I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I will be bringing it up on Monday. Because I, I think that whatever a person does, now let's just say, for example, somebody who has a full-time job and they have small children and let's say they are a woman and let's say a step further, they are a single parent. Okay, so we just said a single parent who is a lady that works full-time with small children. This lady that works full time with small children and doesn't have a mate can't just come in from work, kick off her shoes, turn the TV on, and have a drink, can she? No. She has to make dinner, she has to sort bath time, story time, you know, do chores like laundry, cooking, cleaning, etc. And so, what's my point? She strikes a balance in her life. That's any person. Just because I am homebound and disabled doesn't mean that I can not have a bunch of different things in my life that have value and that are there in the sense of balance and have importance because I'm not getting a paycheck for writing book reviews. And I'm gonna tell you something. I started in my blog exactly four years ago as a matter of fact I haven't even written my blogiversary post but but I'm just going to tell you right now that if I go to my blog which I just did I have written 1784 blog posts since I started my blog I have about let's see we're just gonna look at my stats I have uh, 35,000, no, 355,405 all-time views. 355,000 all-time views. 5,095 comments and over 1,700 posts. And I guess I'm wasting my time because I don't get paid for it. Yeah, that that rankled but like I said I'm good at compartmentalizing because I only see him on a weekly basis and I really needed to understand why if I don't have a psychological trigger a traumatic trigger why I am so depressed I really you know and he's good at that he's excellent at that and so I didn't let him let on that I was getting upset about him saying that I there's no value in what I do in reading and blogging because he was very instrumental in helping me sort through what what I needed to sort through so that I can get through this next week and I will say that even though that that did bother me in our session yesterday I was able to um, work with the bipolar manual so to speak and understand 
levels of depression and sadness versus uh, clinical depression or uh, hopelessness, help, helplessness, and so forth. So I got a lot out of yesterday's session, but I also have next week's session all lined up because this man makes one too many comments about I'm only doing this for myself and I don't like that. But um, another thing that he doesn't like is the fact that I love challenges. Like I joined who did I join this month? Bookish Brawlers, Brawlers uh, Literary Fight Club, The Literary Coven, Playbookers, Reading Rivalry, and maybe two or three more. And they're challenges. And because they're challenges, yes, there's some competition. Okay. I think that I should be short a stitch. I think I did five, four, okay, yeah, we're, we're good. So anyway, yeah, um, you are kind of in a competition in these challenges because you're working with a team so that you can beat another team. But bottom line, it's fun, you know? And so I don't even talk to him about the challenges I joined because he thinks everything that I do in that whole realm of reading is external. And that makes no sense to me why he's so adamant about that. So anyway, but like I said, I, I feel that yesterday's session was a win because I was able to come away understanding that I'm not in one of my really bad depressions because I don't have any suicidal ideation going on right now. I don't feel hopeless or helpless right now. And so yesterday's session was a win helping me sort out that it's okay to have a bad day, be in a bad mood, be sad without being in a really bad clinical depression. And that was really good. And that's where, like I said, he excels. He just has this really weird attitude about me and my type A personality. He just doesn't get it. So anyway, so I'm about to finish this square. One more stitch. I know that you can't see because it's white on white, but I really wanted to talk today. And I was stitching and I'm like, hey, I'm going to talk and stitch. So we're gonna drop, no, I'm not gonna drop the thread there, I'll drop it right here. So we're gonna stop here, and I know that you couldn't see it, but I did this, this, and this. <laughs> so all you did basically sit, was to sit here and listen to me talk, not watch me work. But thank you for your time, I appreciate it, and I hope to talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>